7.30 p.m. Eastern on NBA TV. Well, those are the only two teams that didn't play on MLK Day, and they play center court on Tuesday. Meantime, we got the Rockets and we got the Thunder, and we've got uh, Russell Westbrook Russell, going for another triple-double. He went ballistic on the early on. His ability to get to the rim. I tell you what, man, I got so much respect for Russell Westbrook. And we have been, I mean, he, I've, never seen, I've never seen an NBA player play harder than Russell Westbrook. Every I'm, night. I'm, I'm, uh, Giannis don't have the track record this kid got. But it's quite different. From most yeah, Giannis plays hard. Every every night. Night. This guy's been doing it for double digit years, baby. Yeah, I agree. So, speaking of double digits, after a couple they're, knee up, surgeries. they're up by 15, are the Rockets at home. Yeah. Up. And then here comes Gallinari. Yeah. And here comes Gallinari again. 15 to 1 run to tie the game. Why is he wide open? It's all bad defense. What? Westbrook? Oh, no. This is a mismatch right here. Oh, oh. Dr. Baby. Yeah. So the Rockets again with the oh, good shooter. Shot. There's SGA. That looked like a foul. That, that looked like a foul. I didn't know foul. That's bully ball. Get out of there, little yeah, man. Change the rules, Shaq. We don't bully people. Get out of there. Yes, we do. Dennis Schroeder had 15 points in the fourth quarter. Oh, pullback. One of the best six wow. in the league this year. They go on a 27-7 run to end the game. Chris Paul had a big first half. He had 27 in the first half, finished with 28. You know good and well Chris Paul loved that. Oklahoma City wins it 112 to 107. And uh, boy, look at Houston going nine for 45 from three. But Arna, you know what? You know, the Rockets, listen, I just think when, if you want for 17, that's just stupid. Like if you want for 10, you used to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to stop taking threes. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. The uh, the worst three-point percentage all time with at least 15 attempts. D. Scott? D. Scott in there? D. Scott had a two for 17 night. Wow. But, uh, yeah, but this guy had a, two, one this for guy had a bunch nights of nights. On a night when Russell Westbrook recorded another triple-double and has now done that against every opponent one, he's faced. One nine ninety six. That's a week after. But you know what's yeah, interesting you about and, you and uh, D. Uh, Scott? Uh, and, uh, check, you know, you, left. You, 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 Okay. Left and 96. You, you see what all those, look at all those James Harden things? They happened recently. That's what's interesting about well, this. Well, that the Rockets style of play just happened in the last three years, though. That's three years. I'm saying those all happened, at the, uh, three of them happened this season. Hmm. I mean, well, that, that. So what's your, what's your um, point? Take from that. Uh, I think you well, have, already said your point. Well, I think, I just think you have to be smarter. Like some nights it ain't working. You have to go to plan B. The Rockets have plan A. And plan A and plan A. And, you know, uh, my man who started the international incident, he's been quiet all season because he loves analytics because he want to look like he's a genius. He's a very good GM, but he's not a genius. You, you These teams, sometimes you just can't keep shooting threes if you're not yeah, but good at it. Yeah, but don't shoot. I'm, I've never been a shooter, but don't shooters keep shooting until they find that rhythm again? No. They miss 27 in a row in a game. I, I, I always, I'm just I always awesome. say, I for me, you know, I, in, in the playoffs, I, I usually shot my best and in, in whatever. I'm not going to go quote stats. But the one thing that you always do is you take good shots. If you, if you take good shots, they will eventually go in. If you're taking tough shots, you will never get on track. Good shots always. And so I used to just try to seek good shots when I, when I missed some shots and instead of trying to seek a tough shot to make one go in. Oklahoma City, by the way, is 25 and 19 now. They got an All Star, Chris Paul. Yeah, I would Chris say Chris Paul. You got to give him points for being a leader. Yeah, I told you. I've always said Chris Paul was the best leader we've had in NBA in, in a long time, in my opinion. And we got to reward winning. Chris Shea Gill, just Alexander, doing anything for? Him? Well, he would have been. He is the guy that you would say, wow, he's he's been the best player. But Chris Paul, to me, has been the All Star. Yeah, because he's. Ernie, you have to factor in his leadership. No, I, no I'm just asking yeah. you. Yeah, because exactly. without, I don't think. Uh, he would have been able to attain the things he's attained. The team wouldn't have been as good without, without Chris, Chris Paul. He, yeah. he wouldn't have been able to do that because the, the defenses would have been pressed on him differently. But so, the leadership, you the factor leadership, that yeah. in. I give it. I, I agree with you, Chuck. Let's go, let's check out the Warriors and the and the Blazers. Oh my uh, God. A wild game in Did Portland. Did we just watch this? Um, <laughs> Mikhail's the best player I've played. I always just talk about the spin move. I was just talking about the spin move. What? What? Joe, I was just talking about the spin move. That's all. But you're right. You're right. My bad. Yeah. Minnesota's lost. I apologize, six Kevin. Minnesota's lost six in a row in 20 out of 25, as they uh, call. I'm trying to figure out how they won the 100 in the 
watch the Nuggets go to 30 and 13. You know, there's another team that's 30 and 13. The Clippers for one. Yeah, and now the Utah Jazz also. The Jazz, uh, listen, the Jazz. They've won 11 out of 12 coming in. They play in great. Uh, they got the most underrated player in the NBA and Rudy Gobert. And they got Mike Conley back. Ooh. Oh, okay. now this is what's going to be interesting. They played great without Conley. I want to see how they're going to play with him. Well, I think they found a rhythm no matter what's happening. Yeah, but it still changes the jump. lineup. Oh, but he could jump in the rhythm. Uh, he's didn't. easier to jump in a winning situation. All you got to do is swing that ball, let everybody eat, no matter who's in there. Keep hey, moving the ball. Shaq, if it was me, I'd rather jump into a winning situation and try to help a loser. Oh, go bear from Donovan Mitchell there and then... Watch Mitch up the ball. Why? Wow. Hangs and scores. Mitchell had 25. Like Go Bear. Uniforms. I like what I like what Last eight games for the Jazz, 123 points a game and shooting 51%. That ain't bad. They've won eight in a row at home. And it's Indiana's worst loss of the year by 30. It's not their five-game winning streak. It's not far-fetched. We could be in Utah for the Western Conference Finals. Uh, Okay. You all over the place tonight. No, no, I'm saying because the, the Lakers and Clippers might play each other earlier. Look at those Look at those teams all at 30 and 13 chasing the Lakers who lose tonight. Yeah, but I'm concerned if I'm those teams. What teams? Uh, anybody other than the Lakers because if you look at the Clippers, they low management Kawhi. Paul George has been out. They haven't really been consistent, and they still got the second-best record in the East, Western Conference because at some point everybody's going to get healthy. And, and everyone's going to play. Huh? Everybody's going to play. But you think Utah could sneak in there now? Well, well but it depends on the, on the – I think they're the second best team. On the team. matchups. Well, you got the – you got the – I think the Clippers are the best team in the West. Then you got the Lakers. Then you got Utah. Then after that, it don't matter. It don't matter? It don't matter. Those other teams ain't got oh, no chance. Man, Denver can't – Denver's not for real. Denver's not Denver's for real. Not for, you, they're not for real. That? I already um, put it there. I think he already did. Denver's not for real, and, and you're not a, not a Houston fan. Oh, my God. That was one of Kennedy's the stupid things he ever said. That they're, gonna, that they're going to the finals? That they're, did so, you have them winning the championship? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He said that. Yeah. They were going to win the championship. He didn't mean it. He just said it. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Twitter up and running still. <laughs> At the end of this long, long you whisper, night. And you were on television, Shaq. They have oh, my, I, oh, I thought, hey, huh? Hey. You got to be here right there. Hey. They're a whisper. Oh, I Wait, you. I thought you said Twitter was up. It is. Michael Caldwell Pope. Come <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. on, oh, Shaq. More love than that for dunking on LDJ. If he dunked on someone, then it would be stop the press. Read all about it. Nope. That was Michael Caldwell Pope. <laughs> T.O. Oh, that was Terrell? Yeah. What's up, Terrell? <laughs> the highlights continue next. What a strange night in Houston for the Rockets against the Thunder. The highlights. <laughs> well, you just watched the highest scoring game by a player this season as Damian Miller goes really? for 61 in Portland's win over Golden State. We'll get to the highlights of that one in just a bit. Uh, before we start, however, uh, you know, we had three games here on the MLK holiday. Seems longer. And we have uh, this little segment that they do on NBA TV with our buddy Ro Parrish called Chuck's Guarantees. Yes. And the, in the last episode. He's your buddy? He ain't my buddy. Yeah. And Ro was asking you who you were, who you were taking in the, in the triple header. Pelicans at Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Lakers at Celtics. Lakers. Warriors at Blazers. Oh, Blazers. One out of three. One out of three. Yeah. You're actually two out of three because you changed here and you took the South. No, you didn't. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. That, so you took the Lakers. That right, that right there was golden. Today, he was just, he was just guessing the day. Yeah, well, I guess just right. Playing, he's just playing the odds because he's. I, I guess right. Well, you took both teams. Whoopie yeah, that's, it's, yeah, it's right. really easy to Whoopie do it that way because do. this is what Chuck had to say earlier tonight before Boston and the, and the Lakers tipped it off. Oh, my. I'm guaranteeing the Boston Celtics, Kimba going to get his first win tonight. I'm guaranteeing. What makes you, what makes you so sure? It's time. As it, <laughs> as it turns out, it was time. LeBron James spent uh, part of his day in Springfield, Mass, watching his son play, and then went to Boston for the game tonight against the Boston Celtics. Out of Lakers final. coming in with an 18 oh. and 3 record on the road. Out of final LeBron for oh. concentrating on the game today. <laughs>
How did Mr. Kimball, how did, how did Kimball Walker get this thing to go in? Huh? I told you, LeBron missed his nap today. <laughs> uh, LeBron drives past Cantor. Look at the pass. Ooh, nice pass. Marcus, Marcus. 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 Marc